What's up everybody, this is Rob Penna here, and I am going to give you a sneak peek into the conversation that I had with Sale Solaita. It will be featured on a full-length podcast pertaining to Polynesian baseball players throughout the globe. So I'm excited to give you this tiny little snippet to whet your appetite for Sale's full-length episode that's going to be coming soon. Enjoy. What's one of your most memorable moments in baseball in your entire career? Honestly, I, you know, my perspective back then is a little bit different than my, my perspective is now. And I realized there's almost like a common, for me, there's a common denominator in everything that I went through, you know, through all the struggles. And for me, the most, the thing that I most remember was my prayer life. And, mm. and that's, for me, that's always been the common denominator. Like I've always had a really strong prayer life, you know, maybe sometimes not the strongest, you know, you know, actions in my life, but, <laughs> but I've always, I, I remember there were key times in my life where there was, it was chaotic and, you know, I've made it, you know, I made it intentional to pray to God for the resolution of something, you know? And so one of the things that I remember the most about was in college, you know, we were in college and you know how I, I played, you know, like the first three years I didn't start. And for me, that was, that was the most challenging thing that I've ever had to endure in college. And I had remembered at the time where in my mind, I thought, you know, I could, I could play, you know, like I could play and I could actually, you know, there were times where, where coach Burbridge would say, you know, can somebody out here just tell me they want to hit and go out or go out there and play and, and, you know, and, and do something, you know, and, and I remember telling him, I was like, coach, you just put me in. So my last year, came, you know, and my senior year comes around and I'm questioning whether I should even be on the team or not. And I've even questioned myself and whether I should continue on. And I remember one night I went down to, uh, one night I walked down to the field and just by myself and it was dark it was Hank Burbage's field and and so I walked down there and I was just for me I just had my conversation with God I'm like like God I'm about to quit this baseball thing because you know you know apparently I'm not good enough to play and so you know like there's got to be some purpose you know that I have to fill on the team and so I remember it was at that time where you know I sat there and, you know, I felt God speaking to me, telling me, hey, you know, you're on the team to serve, so serve. 